spending the time to, to see how uh, the Shakespeare's text can mix with a really compelling physical life on stage so that we find um, clues within the text about how to stage it, so how people move and how people enter and stuff like that. He creates these sort of universal characters and there's a bunch of themes to draw on that are are relatable to everyday people in our current situation. And it's about finding why are we doing this play now and how is it connected to the way we live now. My favorite thing about rehearsing this Shakespeare play is this hammock. The second thing though is definitely um, the the subtext of Shakespeare's characters is uh, is kind of taken away and it's kind of all in the text. For me it's it's, it's just not just uh, the beauty of the language or the rhythm of the language but it's ensuring for me that I understand what is actually being said and to be able to share that with uh, my fellow actors and of course eventually with the audience. What I do to memorize text is usually based on my physicality, so when, this, when the scenes are blocked, because also the shows are very different and the ways of directing are very different, so it's easy for me to separate worlds because there's already that division. I sometimes I like to think that each word is one of my children, and so it would be, it would be pretty sinful to forget one well, of your children, right? I record it and I listen to it on my bike, and I like talk to myself like a crazy person, and I get a lot of funny looks. Parolis has this great accent where he says, I'm so full of businesses that I cannot answer thee acutely, so farewell. So he's just a very busy guy. Um, well, I love when Gertrude gets to do this speech about, um, uh, about Ophelia passing away. It's a beautiful, beautiful speech that starts, there is a willow grows aslant the brook that shows his hoar leaves in the glassy stream. And it's, it's so heartbreaking. At one point when Hamlet's hanging out with his old friend Rosencrantz, he says, there's nothing either good or bad, but thinking makes it so. I like that. I think it kind of captures the spirit of the play.